first. Okay, guys, come on now. Let's go. Go! Come on! Come on! That's back. Good. Up. Good. One, two, three. Olympic Renewal. A festival of unparalleled athletic sacrifice by those in pursuit of Olympic glory. An event of such international significance, it stands as inspiration to the millions who witness it. This renewal and the international spirit it represents will soon be focused in Calgary. For 16 days in February 1988, this city of over 600,000 will host the world, sharing rich traditions of pioneer spirit and Western culture. The energy and enthusiasm builds as Calgarians ready for the most splendid event in this city's history. For athletes and spectators around the world, the dream of Olympic glory is embodied in the flame. In November of 1987, it will travel from Olympia, Greece to Canada's eastern shore. There, it will begin an 88-day odyssey, passing hand-to-hand -hand through every province and territory in Canada. A journey of nearly 18,000 kilometers that will ignite the Olympic spirit in all who believe in the pursuit of excellence. Less than an hour from Calgary, they wait. The Canadian Rockies, majestic, proud, untested in Olympic competition, yet ready for centuries. At the base of these mountains, the town of Canmore. This community, with its unique alpine charm, will host over 600 athletes and officials that will gather for the Nordic skiing competitions. Just outside the town site, the Canmore Nordic Center. Built by the province of Alberta, this 62 kilometer network of demanding mountainside trails will challenge the stamina of athletes in three separate Nordic disciplines. Cross country skiing, Nordic combined, which combines points scored in cross-country skiing with those from ski jumping. And finally, biathlon, combining the endurance of cross-country with precision target shooting. It is said that a biathlete must turn from a rabbit to a rock, then back to a rabbit again all within a matter of seconds. at Mount Allen. Another spectacular contribution by the province. Nakiska is ready.
electrifying. The ultimate challenge to the skill and courage of its alpine contenders. Only a few will share Nakiska's Olympic glory. Yet in the years to come, millions will enjoy its recreational splendor. Canada Olympic Park, perhaps the most dramatic sight of the games. Towering 70 and 90 meter ski jumps, adjacent to the world's most technically advanced bobsleigh and loose track. Funded by the federal government, Canada Olympic Park provides future Olympians with world-class facilities, all within minutes of downtown Calgary. In the heart of the city, the Olympic Saddle Dome, opened through the financial cooperation of three levels of government and the Olympic Organizing Committee, the Saddle Dome is already a veteran host of international competitions. Saddle Dome will be the primary site for the drama of hockey and the graceful beauty of figure skating. On the University of Calgary campus, an Olympic masterpiece funded by the Canadian government, North America's first fully enclosed 400-meter speed skating oval. Ready. For the first time, Olympic speed skaters will be free from the unpredictability of the elements. Each host city brings its own unique non-Olympic sports to the games. Calgary presents the demonstration sport of curling. The demonstration events of freestyle skiing. The excitement of short track speed skating. And exhibit the talents of disabled skiers. To introduce youth to the ideals of Olympism, an educational program has been extended to our schools. Based on the Olympic principle, to educate young people through sport in a spirit of better understanding between each other and of friendship, thereby helping to build a better world. This program is just one of many created by the enthusiastic community of Olympic volunteers. Three weeks prior to the opening of the Games, Calgary will make its debut on the world stage with the Olympic Arts Festival. This spectacular showcase highlights the achievements of Canadians in the performing, visual,